Well, good Thursday morning, Valley. Today on Valley Por Vida, we are checking in with a local recording artist who is representing the Valley in a big way. We're also hanging out with professional boxer Brandon Figueroa before his next match in April, how he's training for the fight, and so much more. Plus, there's a lot happening in your neighborhood, and we've got all of those details, so be sure to stick around for What's Up RGV. You're not going to want to go anywhere. Valley Por Vida starts right now. Hi there, and thanks again for joining us this morning. I'm your host, Danielle Bonda. Well, there's a national day or month for so many things. It's time now to see what observances we can honor today. According to the National Days calendar, January 21st honors National Granola Bar Day, National Hugging Day, National Squirrel Appreciation Day, and National Get to Know Your Customers Day. So this morning, see if you can snack on a granola bar for breakfast, try giving your loved ones a socially distant air hug, <laughs> or maybe you'll get a chance to see a squirrel climbing up a tree outside, and if so, take a moment to appreciate nature and its furry critters, and we hope you keep in mind these these observances as you navigate throughout your day. All right, well, the Rio Grande Valley is home to a rich heritage of cultural traditions and styles. Many have been able to draw inspiration from this and incorporate their passion into music. From opera to pop, reggaeton, and even rap, the RGV influences a variety of genres, and our team caught up with one Valley native who is positively representing her home in a big way. Here's this week's Generation Inspiration. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl Beatriz Gonzalez, and we're here in my studio. Well, it started off as a dream as a little girl. I actually saw Linda Ronstadt, which is one of my inspirations growing up, on Sesame Street, and I saw her singing with Elmo, and I was just like, wow, I want to be like that. And like I want to do that and for some reason mariachi music just spoke to me. I'm a real proud Mexican, you know, <laughs> and you can tell that through the music and, you know, through my social media and personality and all of that. But um, so that led me to, you know, really pursue a career and I was three years old when I started singing so um, it's just been a dream. And growing up, you know, you go to school, I joined choir, I joined mariachi in high school, I got to travel with the mariachi at Donna High School. Um, and I said, you know what, this is what I, what I want to do. I want to travel, I want to you know, uh, sing. I, it's what I love to do, it's just a passion, you know. Um, so in the mariachi though, I did learn how to play um, guitar and vihuela. So I'm also a musician. I am also, at the current moment, part of Mariachi Azucenas. We're an all-female mariachi uh, from here, from the Valley, of course. And um, I mean, it's just like I've shaped myself to be the person I am now and this recording artist, you know. <laughs> and I said, I was around 21 and I was like, you know what, I need to record. I need to record professionally. And I started getting in contact with um, producers here in the Valley, Sharagona to Chava, Chava Chavez, <laughs> Salvador. Uh, he's my current producer as well. My boy JJ Tambien. Uh, Actually, the studio, JJ and I, it's ours, JJ and I, he's my producer, my friend, he's like a brother, and he's my road manager wherever I go, I take him with me. One day I went to the Tejano Music Awards, I went viral, and I was singing mariachi, and it just, it just hit like millions of views, and that's where it started, really the whole mariachi um, EPs, La Tequilera volume one, two, three, and currently we're releasing number four. Um, so that's where, you know, we're like, okay, let's let's hit the mariachi right now. Because I also do cumbia, I do some rap, I do all kinds of stuff, really. Um, it's just what I grew up with. Um, this is just a whole, you know, I'm, we're from the valley, so you're exposed to um, norteño, mariachi, banda, um, 
cumbia, you know, uh, but I'm also exposed to rap, to hip hop, to reggaeton, you know, to everything. Uh, and I love all music, I listen to all music. So that's kind of like where I get my, my inspiration from all of that. It's just a whole melting pot of music. But right now, of course, we're releasing a volume four, La Tequilera volume four. And I mean, the EP series, La Tequilera EP series has done amazing. My videos have done great as well. My label, Silent Giant Entertainment, uh, they are from Los Angeles. They're a Los Angeles-based, California-based label. And uh, I was just so blessed to be part of them because growing up, um, they used to have this station called Pocos Pero Locos. And we used to play it here on a radio station and I listened to it as a teen. And I said, you know what, I can be part of that. So fast forward a couple years, I released my own music video with, you know, my own uh, song. And it was crazy because I just shared it on Twitter and I said, hey, maybe I'll gain one more fan. You know, you never know. And I gained a whole label, you know, a whole contract. So I'm still currently on the contract and I travel from LA to here. And it's amazing because I get to go to the studio, do what I love. Um, my friends help me out as well with the uh, music. My friend Elena, uh, Sarate, she's in the mariachi as well. All the girls from the mariachi have helped me. They've uh, been part of my videos as well. And it's so fun because the videos are so natural and uh, it's just us being us, you know? And um, it's definitely been a rough year, but, well, we're yeah. starting a new one now. But <laughs> it was a rough year, but you gotta stay positive throughout everything and anything and just keep a positive perspective. And for the upcoming artists, I wanna tell you, you know, you gotta believe in yourself first. Um, and you, you, it's gotta be in you. There's a fire in there that sometimes wants to, you know, uh, come down or, or uh, turn off, but you gotta keep it alive. And the way you keep it alive is by stay uh, like staying creative so stay creative believe in yourself first um dream big no matter what never give up that's been my motto and i mean so far so good <laughs> it's been working i mean nothing is overnight so don't expect anything um you know don't actually don't expect anything at all just do what you do do what you love in whatever area it is whether it is being an artist or a business that you want to start or, I mean, whatever, you know, um, makeup, you know, you gotta start from the bottom. Beatrice will continue aiming to inspire those in our community who also have big dreams. She's a powerhouse performer who is passionate about music and wants you to reach for the stars as well. Be sure to follow her journey on social media and stay tuned for next week's Generation Inspiration for more on motivational figures here in the Valley. All right, well, the Humane Society of Harlingen is always looking to provide happy homes for furry friends here in the Valley. They offer various services so that you can keep your pet healthy. We caught up with their team to learn about an important vaccination clinic happening this Saturday. Take a look. Hi everybody, Sarah here with the Humane Society of Harlingen. This Saturday, January 23rd, we will be hosting a low-cost microchip clinic. If your pet is not microchipped, now's the time to do it. Microchips are super important because they serve as a permanent form of identification and help to ensure that if your pet is ever lost, they can be returned back to you. If you're interested, check out our website to sign up for the clinic at hshtx.org. For more important uh, clinics to keep an eye out for, you can visit Sarah and her team in Harlingen. And be sure to follow HSH on social media for the latest on new pets that are ready to become a member of your family. Well, there is plenty going on in your neighborhood now and throughout next month. So here's What's Up RGV. <laughs> Thank you. 
If you love good music and having a good time, listen up because there will be an exciting event that you and your family can attend next month. It's called Ruthie's Rockin' Country, happening, happening at Clayton's Beach Bar and Grill with live entertainment, plenty of food, and an amazing view of the beach. The best thing about it, free admission. Happening all week long every week in February, you can expect different activities and attraction each, uh, attractions each day. Enjoy a happy hour all day long on Monday, Taco Tuesday deals on Tuesday, fresh and local seafood on Wednesday, plus wings, margaritas, and dancing the rest of the week. Be sure to drop by between 2 and 5 in the evening for all the fun. And if you're into more hands-on activities like fine arts, not to worry. There will be a craft show taking place in the city of Alamo on February the 11th. And it's a great opportunity to get your creative juices flowing. And the great thing here is that a second part of the event will be held again in March. That's double the chance to go and check it out. It's all happening at Ray, uh, Rec Vey Park, and if you'd like more information on this event, feel free to call the number on your screen. And of course, we can't forget about food. The Mission West Resort will be hosting a Friday fish fry every Friday from now until March the 26th, and you are invited to attend. Anyone in the Valley is welcome to join in the fun and take delight in homemade coleslaw, french fries, and fried fish. It's all happening curbside so it's a great way to feed the family and hang out with your friends in a safe and socially distant way. If you're looking for a more unique way to spend your time on the weekend, consider checking out a coin show. Hosted by the Hidalgo Coin Club, this event will feature some of the world's most historic coins. You'll be able to buy, sell, trade, and enjoy a variety of paper money as well as collectibles. It's all happening at the McAllen Chamber of Commerce on February the 12th from 6 to 9 p.m. and we hope to see you there. Be sure to stick around for more exciting events fit for the whole family. We've got plenty in our What's Up RGB segments that you won't want to miss. All right, well, it's time now for a weather break, but don't go anywhere because when we return, Valley Por Vida is taking you behind the scenes with professional boxer from the Rio Grande Valley, and he's proud to represent his hometown in such a positive way.